yes family greetings my friends uh greetings family i greet you all in the name of the mighty jesus uh jesus christ uh our savior uh family i want to share this with you um it's about a blessing it's about our god's blessing uh to us in bracket uh of course the word it's about the word family uh, i have come to share this um family um people are there uh you're there and you're planning some things uh you want to start a business um some of you are in school um some of you are in relationships uh, and so many of some of you are in sports uh, some of you are politicians of course politicians you are there are other things you're doing and you're like oh my god others are like yes things are going on well things are good yes others are like things are somehow others are like things are completely not good others are like uh, things are dead not so others don't even want to try they are like when i'm blessed i know i'll do it but family do you know what really uh uh let me say do you know the meaning of the word blessing family a blessing simply i can tell you that this is god's favor and protection that's simply a blessing god's favor and protection so now now some of you are like yes god created me uh of course he has to protect me yes he does and he, he god always favors you but do you want to be favored that's another question god favors you and god protects us always but do i want to be protected yes i want if i want what should i do let me give you an example have you ever been there and you're like you have your children at home and you, sometimes you, you, you know like maybe you're like my child uh, performed well in, uh, you know he or she deserves a gift before he or she a request for it you are offering a gift to her you know what that means you happy for what she did and there are others though they are not performing well but of course there are also things you are giving them and like maybe one time one day they will do it you guide them you protect them family I want you to uh, i know you get what i mean let's go on family for example uh we are created by god not so and we have to serve god in the name of jesus christ god favors each one of us that's the truth whether you accept him or not god provides for you god protects you but you cannot rec- you cannot know it's not easy for you to recognize and witness god's protection for you when you are not believing god does this god does this uh of course he knows my son one time one day my son will see the light but in doing so uh it's up to you to do the things that will help you come back to god and see the light you remain in darkness i'm telling you you lose everything completely let me tell you the truth i've told you the start that god gives each one of us but you do but in case you don't come back to god you're not seeing the light you know i've told you you never see god's protection and favor not until you do what you're supposed to do in Jesus name yes that's the truth you will say maybe some of you even don't even try some of you are like i want to go there they said uh, such a thing uh women cannot do such a job women cannot uh go into into the building uh 
uh, building a section. Who told you? In, in, in that company, uh, it's not easy to be promoted. Who told you? Do what you're supposed to do. Leave the rest to God. Let God guide you. Family, you'll see the difference. I'm telling you. Don't just sit there in darkness and you say you're waiting for God's blessings. When I've told you a blessing, this is God's favor and protection. And you're serving the other masters and you say you're waiting for God's blessings and favor. Yet you're serving other people, other masters. And you can't serve two masters. However, however much God will do it for you, you will never recognize it. I'm telling you. Have you ever been there and you're like, and you're like, you know, uh, I was in such a, 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 a place, I did not develop, my business just collapsed. But so and so was there, but his business is booming. Why? Check yourself. Do what you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do. Believe. You'll be able to recognize God's blessings and protection. Don't feel hatred that so I was there. You want a blessing and you're hating others? Maybe you were there, maybe you were there, things didn't go well. It's okay, but you were there, you did, you did what you're supposed to do. So another person is there, things are going on well. It's okay. Just wish her the best. Move on. Family, family let me give some Bible verses uh, as I conclude. Go with Philippi, uh, let me read for Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. It says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Uh, then 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, verse 2. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Amen. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will help I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Family, I've told you. You need and you say you need a blessing and you're serving other masters. And I've told you a blessing, this is God's protection and favor. Again, I've told you, God is, is your creator. That's why he says even Satan knows him. Satan knows God. Because he was, he was our, you know, our angel before, he did what he did. And did and did want even to repent. Though as, as you repent, you come back, you are forgiven. For your Satan decided to make its own kingdom. And others are following that kingdom. And again, you want blessings from this side. However much you're blessed, you won't be able to recognize this blessing. Yeah, I'm telling you. When you're in darkness, not until you come into, 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 uh, into light, and you remember, oh, so and so, such thing was a blessing. Yeah, I'm telling you. But when you see in darkness, you will never see that. You still, you, oh, things will still be minor. You'll see like, of course it has to happen. Okay, family, I love you so much. I'm on Junior Kundo Facebook, Rangana Magaraga on Facebook, Kisugu Uganda at Manila Facebook, the Facebook accounts, Twitter at Amon Junior, Instagram Amon Junior 1651987, Facebook page, God Our Heaven in Jesus' Name, Amen Raj page, YouTube account, Love Amon Junior or Amon Junior Kundo, or they are subscribe and share those videos. Uh, family, another thing uh, I always tell you if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your only personal savior, family, what are you waiting for? Uh, family, you have to do it, uh, you have to be baptized. Uh, some of you are like, I'm not a sinner, what should I accept? What should I accept Jesus Christ as my uh, personal savior? Uh, others are like, uh, you know, 
baptism, I was baptized some, some years back, when I even have the pictures when I was young, I have the photos, no family. You believe and accept, you confess those things. Then you are born again, you are saved, then you have to follow those steps and be baptized. Don't say, uh, when did you confess? Don't say, no, 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 please. You accept Jesus Christ as your man personal savior, you confess with those sin, then you are you, uh, saved, then you start the steps of being baptized. Do the baptism classes, and so many other things you have to do. You must know the word, family. Don't pretend. Not so. Another thing is family. Uh, this is Bibles. Uh, I always tell you, uh, some of you are like, you know, uh, some of you are like, you know, these Bibles, you know, family, let us use these Bibles. I know the gadget Bibles are taking over, but this Bible should still be number one. You know what I mean? Some of you are traveling, you leave these Bibles home. Mommy, keep this Bible for me. Daddy, keep this Bible for me. I love it. It's all of God. When I come back, I'll find it. Family, really? I think, family, that's not right. Don't even, I don't even think that's not right. This Bible, you know what happens. Sometimes you want to, sometimes power, sometimes you know the light from it, you know? So let this Bible be there. This is one of the first things that you should put in your bag. These are one of the first things I put in my bag when I'm traveling. If not the first when I'm traveling. And that, don't only take it and keep it. Sometimes you move, don't even, it's dusty. No. Read and understand what the Bible says and do what it says. Some of you read, understand, but don't do what it says. It's of no use. It's like getting a seed and placing it on a rock that you're planting. Of what use? Not so. So family, I love you so much. Family, let us teach one another. Let us be a fruit, teach one another family. That's why we are created. Not so. Jesus. Love you so much, family. Uh, Jesus, our Savior, our love, our everything. Thank you so much. God bless you, family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.